Good afternoon and welcome back to Investor Intel. Today we're talking with Don Simmons of Hemisphere Energy, a rarity in that it's a Canadian oil and gas company that's actively marketing itself these days. Mr. Simmons, welcome to Investor Intel. Thank you, great to be here. Uh, some interesting events over the past few years out in Calgary and uh, north up into Edmonton and Leduc. How have you fared? It's been uh, survival through the last few years in the Canadian energy business, but uh, certainly things are looking better these days. There's more activity, and certainly when we reflect that as a company, we're, we're certainly more active than we've been in the last two or three years. And apparently there's a lender out there who's very confident in you as well. There was a recent press release about a new credit facility you have. That's correct. We, uh, we have done a, a strategic refinancing. Uh, we've, we've taken out our traditional lender, and uh, it's a given us access to additional capital to get out, get more aggressive in the field and, and really get after our growth and our assets. So at this stage of the recovery period, everyone's concerned about cash flow and debt levels. Are you happy with your degree of cash from operations versus your debt? I'm comfortable with it today uh, in a $50 oil environment. Uh, and that's something that we look to improve as we drill and we add more production, more cash flow, more reserves. We'll see that uh, debt to cash flow number uh, come down more and more. Great. Where are your assets located? Our assets are in southern Alberta, southeast Alberta, just north of Medicine Hat. And which geologic era do they date from? We target uh, sands within the Manville uh, group. That's uh, the main zone that we target. That's a fairly common target? It is. Good. Um, I also noticed uh, um, Q2 production was about 600 barrels a day. Is that an increase or a decrease from Q1? That's a, an increase over Q1, slight increase, and, and we have put out that uh, through parts of Q3 that we've released, uh, we've seen as high as 700 uh, BOEs a day. So we, uh, we've been growing over the last year, even though we've been uh, limited in our activity. So nothing's guaranteed, but it looks like you're going to be doing roughly the same as Q2, if not better. Correct. Excellent. Uh, can you tell me about the management team? It's so important in oil and gas. Management team, yeah, we've uh, you know, there's about five, six people here uh, that are our main management team. Uh, we uh, we all aspects from from engineering uh, to geology, uh, both on the the reservoir side and, and the production side, drilling side, uh, and then on our on our accounting side. So it's uh, it's a collective, uh, you know, close knit team. We've worked together now for a number of years. Uh, we're we're survivors through this downturn, and uh, you know we're we're ready to get aggressive and, and grow through uh, through the next few years. Now that we have access to capital. So what does that growth look like? What are the milestones we should be looking for? Well, you know, starting where we are today in that six seven hundred BOEs a day, uh, first milestone will will be breaking through a thousand. Uh, that's a key number uh, in our business, and then we'll be working our way over the next two to three years to, to two thousand, and then on to three thousand barrels a day are, is is our goal. And you have a reserve report, of course. We do. Yeah, our uh, our reserves are done by McDaniel uh, at Calgary, and uh, you know there's something that gets done once a year. And can you give us an idea of what that looks like? Yeah, last year our, our proven plus probable reserves, there's about 4.5 million BOEs uh, of reserves, and uh, it was a, a, a rough value of about $66 million. Sounds like and, you're on track. Sorry, I cut you off there. Sorry, Don. That's okay. Uh, I was just going to say, yeah, that the, the value, $66 million is a MPV value at discounted about 10%. Which is fairly standard in the industry in Western Canada. It is, yeah. Sounds like you're positioned well to take advantage of any uptick in oil. We are. Uh, our assets are, are low cost to drill and, and uh, low cost to operate. So uh, you know we make money in this fifty dollar environment, and, and if we can see fifty five, sixty uh, over the next few years, uh, it just adds to the bottom line. Your net back is around twenty dollars a barrel. In Q two, it was just over twenty dollars a barrel. Yes. So, so that does provide you with some cushion, even if there's a negative movement in the oil price. That's correct. Excellent. Anything else we need to know? Well, we're active. Uh, our last news release uh, mentioned that we've commenced the drill program. Uh, we're looking at six to seven wells out in our Atlee Buffalo area. Uh, we will um, you know, continue to uh, update the market as, as we continue to have news coming from the field over the coming months. 
Uh, and it's a pretty exciting time. It's the most active we've been in uh, since 2014 as a, as a company. Are you seeing other junior companies starting to come out of hibernation as well? Uh, in, in some cases, it's, uh, it's, it's not across the board, uh, but uh, there are a few more companies um, coming out and, and starting to be a little more active. Uh, accessing some capital here and there, but it, it really, uh, it's not everybody. It's its uh, only a few companies right now. Good. Can we check in with you in Q3 and see if you're hitting those milestones? Sounds good to me. I appreciate your time today. Have a good day. Thank you.